Okay. Yes, Capcom Bass Sports here with Jita, Marie, Big Eroa. Jim Marie Figueroa. What's up, everyone? How you doing? How are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me fi yeah, fine? I can, uh, yeah, I can hear you pretty well. Okay. I'm uh, delighted. Good. That's what's up. And uh, we, we were having a discussion. Tell us, how did your journey begin in combat sports? Tell us how, and we're going to start off there. Okay, so I'm going to give it a long story short for the beginning. Growing up, my father was really, really big into boxing. So he used to throw HBO shows. Like every time there was one, we were watching Tito, uh, Tito Trinidad, uh, Coto. All, we follow all the Puerto Ricans growing up. And I saw the, the passion and the light in my dad. Like he loved this shit. And so growing up, I wanted to be like his, his little fighter and stuff like that. So boxing has always been a big deal in my family. And I have a cousin called, uh, his name is um, Kermit Bazooka Gonzalez. Okay. He was a champion at Golden Gloves for a long time. Um, I got into boxing and I got out of it because I, when I was in the, in the, in the ring with my coach, right. uh, Mel, he, um, I felt like the gloves were just too big. I was just like, this is annoying. I want to feel my knuckles on the person's forehead. And, so, and then I wasn't allowed to kick either. So I, that was brief in my life, but boxing was always like the core foundation of, of my upbringing and with my family. Um, and then I did wrestling in high school for a couple of months. And then um, at this um, tournament, I was hungry. I had to cut weight. I was like 118 pounds. And I got into an argument with my coach because he didn't want me to pin the guy in the first round. And in my head, I'm like, bro, if he can't make it out of the first round, why am I going to wrestle three rounds? Like, that's just stupid. Like, I'm not going to kill myself for six minutes when I can fuck him up in, in, in two. Mm -hmm. So exactly. we got into an argument and I was so angry that I slammed the kid on his neck in, in an illegal fashion. Yeah. And he ended up going to the hospital. So I, I ended up quitting... Uh, wrestling because there was moments leading up to that tournament that I was like wrestling with with my opponent and I wanted to punch him so bad in the face for them moving and fighting me back or I wanted to like give them an arm bar so then I pushed boxing wrestling that there were like phases so in 2012 when I moved here I was flipping through the channels after getting out of work and I was just like on my bed eating and I seen Gina Carano fighting in a cage. And I was like, damn, she's so pretty. And she's such a badass. Like these women are kicking each other's asses. So Gina Carano was the first one to get me like really, really hyped up on it. I was like, right. oh my God, one, she's gorgeous. Two, she reminded me of all my aunts and my, and my mom, like dark haired, brunette, beautiful badasses. So I looked up to her for a really long time and I was just like, damn, this is cool. So I started thinking about it. Like, you know what, maybe I should pursue this. So I hit it like a roadblock, literally a fork in the road, right? And I was okay. thinking, do I continue my transition? And then maybe five to 10 years from now, after maybe a couple of uh, uh, classes and, and training, I'll somehow, the, the world will be at a place where I could compete with no issues. Or do I not transition and go in as just a full blown male and and then after making money and all this shit and having a nice record, then I'll transition later. Well, I looked into the mirror and I was like, nah, fuck that. I feel that I should just continue my transition because I started in 2010. And I was like, at some point in the future, the world is gonna be a different place and I'm just gonna mesh the two together. And lo and behold, it ended up happening that way where I, I, I built a beautiful life for myself here in Florida. Um, I started training about eight years ago. It's been on and off because of money, because of fear, uh, time, work, personal issues. I lost a couple of people in my family. I even lost a dog a couple of months ago. So I've had the, the normal ups and downs when it comes to um, training and stuff like that. But the ultimate thing is that I've always just wanted to compete. So what I 
um, came across recently is with all this Fallon Fox and trans people in sports all over the all over the the, the spectrum. There's like a stigma and um, and this this misinformed um, no, notation that we're all just trying to be females and then uh, compete against females. And I want to change that because mm. I have never ever been that way. Um, you would know because you're you're you. You know, yeah, I guess you would know you you would know better than somebody else who doesn't even know what you're thinking at this moment. So that's that's true. Yeah. And so for me, the biggest struggle for me is it's not about me being trans or a trans athlete, because that doesn't even make sense to me. Like, I don't, no one goes around saying I'm a gay athlete. No one goes around <laughs> saying I'm a Puerto Rican athlete. You're just a fucking athlete. That's true. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're in yeah. a sport and you just yeah. compete in that sport. I don't know why you're they have to give that label. For me, is I'm a fighter. I've been a fighter my whole entire life. I just so happen to be trans. And so when it comes to competing, and now that I'm 33 years old, I'm tired of, of waiting. I think it's it's stupid. I think it's annoying. Do not worry about what I look like. Don't worry about my, my personal life. Don't worry about what I do outside of it. I am trans, and that's how I identify. But when it comes to sports, I'm going to stay in the male bracket in the male division i'm going to compete against the baddest motherfuckers and that's my goal that's always been my goal since day one since i was a child like i i would never want to put hands on a female like i don't care if it's hopscotch i don't want to compete against females i got you i have four beautiful sisters i have a mother and a stepmom i was raised with morals, values, and ethics. And, and gotcha. I was protect, I've protected women my whole entire life. Like I witnessed my mom, unfortunately go through a, a rough patch in her life with domestic violence where her and my stepfathers were always, always fighting. So I grew up knowing that you just, there's, there's, there's a playing field for women and there's a playing field for men. And so for me, I want to change that. And I also want to make a point. This is not about being trans. It's about me wanting to compete in a sport that I have a love and a desire and a passion for. I just so happen to be trans and that's my obstacle. That's my crutch. That's what's holding me back because people in power are keeping me away from competing, which is fucking bullshit. And I know that there's gonna be three sides to it. People that are okay with it, people that are not, and people that are kind of on the fence about it. Here's my thing. I want to be treated like a, a, a normal mixed martial artist. I want my opponents to look at me and be like, whatever, this is either going to be a win or loss in my record, just like anyone else, because I can cut my hair. I can change my name back. But you know what? You're not going to get rid of Gita Marie. That person that just possibly whooped your ass is still the same person. So why am I going to stop myself just because of the way I live and my lifestyle and how I've been for the past 10 years? Let me compete. Let me fight. Let me prove myself because I know I have what it takes. And that's really the message that I want to send to everyone that especially my opponent and their management and their team and their coaches and their mother and their father. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, I'm doing it the right way. Don't worry about what I look like. Don't worry about what I sound like. I am an opponent. Your job is to meet me in the middle, buckle up, and fight. Because at the end of the day, I'm not in there to bake cookies and play patty cake. Like I'm in there to punch your head off. Yeah, exactly. I'll, can I can I briefly interrupt? Of interrupt to say, yeah, worry about worry about my skill level. Worry about these hands. What exactly. like that's what you need to worry about. If if first of all. If you're gonna have a fight with someone, I mean, if you're worried about their personal life, maybe you wouldn't fight them to begin with. You might, you, because you're in it for the wrong reasons. Because you're an athlete, I'm an athlete. We're gonna go. It's mm -hmm. your skill level. I need to be focused on myself and what I'm going to do, my kid, and and, exactly. and and on it. If I'm focused on you, whatever, you already lost 90, 97 percent of the times because you're like, like your 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 mind. So I would I would definitely. Uh, anyone who who is going to face you uh, to focus on 
owning their I'm their waiting. their skills. This, you know what I mean? I I like to get down to the nitty gritty. Like let's say mm -hmm. John Jones and Daniel Cormier, right? They fought three times or yeah. whatever. The main focus on either of their minds was not to lose. So who cares that Daniel goes home and he he wears a wig? Who the fuck cares? The whole point is you still want to compete and not lose. So for so, me, it's like, don't look at me that I'm trans and you're fighting me. Look at me as another opponent. You don't want to lose, period, to me or someone else. Anyone else. It's a no. It's a no. So why yeah. not give me the, the chance and the opportunity? And you know what? I really honestly feel like I have what it takes to to be really, really great in this. I feel like I'm one of those stars that right. were never discovered. Like, I, I feel like there's a bunch of rough on me. No, 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 no. You were discovered? Like you discovered. They, they, they know who you are. <laughs> they know who you are. And I, know. I just want to, before we go on, you said you want to compete yes in the men's men's division you want to compete against men yeah, so why let, not the, get the let the record reflect so to so people because you have people there there's an mma fighter you know uh, 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 trans as well and uh they were there were like several numerous comments uh you know some people against and saying all this stuff which one because because he was competing against uh, just recently Against uh, I'll, I'll send it to you. Against, Alana, I believe so. The tats, they tats. sent that to me. The the white chick with the tattoos. And yeah, the yeah. yeah. Someone from Slaughterhouse just sent that to sent me. It. Yeah. Um. And and she, competing she, against uh, women. The mission in round two. Yeah. Yeah. And she can catch this. Uh, what you said? I said she can catch this whooping too. Uh oh, uh oh, you heard that? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. That's that's something that would be people would would. Do you know how many people would would love to watch that? You know that people have entertained because they're like, what the fuck? But it's and, like and for different reasons, different reasons because you because you're on the other side of like with the mindset like I want to fight the best. I want to fight in, in the men's division. Mm hmm. Versus, not on a personal level, but versus a person who's saying, fuck it, I want to fight the women's. And you're saying, I want to fuck you up either way. <laughs> so, yeah. so, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, you, you're care. done, come over I, here. You I know, feel so. like, all right, so of, of everyone that I've spoken to so far, I trust you the most. And when, when, you, when I say this, the fire and the passion that a Puerto Rican Italian from New York or Boston has is we're gonna meet you in the middle and it doesn't matter whether we win or lose. We're gonna, I'm gonna break these knuckles on your face. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. The it's heart and fire that we have as people yeah. is something that a lot of the time only you and I can understand. Mm -hmm. So like when, they told, when you told me that you were Puerto Rican, I was like, bet, I yeah. can't wait to talk yeah. to this guy. And saying that you're from New York, yeah. having an interview with you and being able to express myself, you know, you deal with this with your wife, with your sisters, your cousins. Everybody. Like we, we have a fire in us that cannot be stopped. Is, and so, is, when it comes to this, the, the kids, nieces, nephews, yep, sisters as well, uh, and uh, you know, just the family. It's 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 and within yourself that path. And and, and I'm you know some, uh, also in combat sports also in school when I was younger. So I was really good. And uh, I'm a trainer myself. And I put on a few of these COVID pounds. They call it COVID pounds. It's, it, <laughs> it's, 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 it, no, I have my equipment right here. I still have my pad. I have all my shit there. I just, you know, and I'll, I'll go over here and I'll, I'll be hit the road, whatever. People are like, damn. And they think, yo, you're, you're 52. I'm like, I'm still doing my thing. I'm not beat up. I was a skinny yeah. person. I was like 120, 120 something. One thirty. So one, once I hit one fifty five, I didn't go low. But the bottom line is, uh, now it's a, a older. Um, above that, trust me. But <laughs> the thing about the passion side, the passion side, because it, it's similar, Boricua, Italiano stuff. I mean, you look at me. I also friends too. But um, is is there something there that 
the Latin blood. It, 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 there, there is something there. There's that fire and that desire to do better. It's some reason, and we're in a unique position, but we, we're a very loving people. Mm-hmm. We're open people. Great big hearts. We're giving people. You know, we'll give you the shirts off our back. Just don't, don't try to take it, because then you know it's a different story with most people. Yeah. But that passion, that burning desire. You have just with uh, several things that you've said and done cleared a lot of things up because I tell people, I says, you don't know. Did you speak to them? Do you know them? You know, because sometimes people see me they on the street and be like, oh, or you have an aura about you. It's just stay away like this. And I'm like, you know, you don't know me. You Maybe know I'm, I, I don't smile because I'm in New York. If I keep smiling, like, hee, hee, hee. Uh, you know what I knew for sure, for sure, about five years ago, I I grew the confidence to go to this uh, school, uh, Gracie St. Pete under Gabe Maldonado and Anton. I will always give them credit for for teaching me the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu. Exactly. I love that place. I haven't been there in a super long time for own personal reason wanted to leave them because I had asked them in the beginning and I told them and they can attest to it if they ever get interviewed in the future before I started paying for classes and going there I made it known to sit down with them and let them know my situation it was very chill brief to the point hi my name is Gita Marie I want to train here's my money but before we go further I want to let you know a little bit of my story because I never wanted to be give anyone the chance to embarrass me thinking otherwise so i would tell them hey yes i'm trans and i wanted to let you guys know that if we're going to do practice sparring any type of competition work i don't do it with the females because everyone initially when you look at me and you talk to me in public you're like oh that's a that's a chick whatever but when it comes to certain things like police officers doctors uh, EMTs, MMA, where I have to tell people just to set the bar. I always sat down with them and, and I told them exactly what it was. Um, but I knew from the beginning, growing up, that I was always super strong. And honestly, I, my dad was a badass, but I feel like where I get my strength, my mom's 5'2", and I couldn't take her until she was 21. So when we were, when we were doing... Uh, <laughs> drills i was taking out like four or five guys at a time before i was tired and then i couldn't go anymore so i knew myself that for a long time i'm like if i can take out five average men who have been training here for it was brown belts yellow belts black belts everything and when we were doing our drills i was still very smart enough like my fight and grappling iq is really great and so I took everything that I learned from from wrestling and and fighting in the streets and doing all that shit, so that in class, I right. I, I could excel. And so everything that I learned, I would apply it. And I swear on everything, I was taking out four or five guys in drilling before I finally gassed out, and I was like, okay, I can't take no more. So for me, if you take all of that into perspective, you know. Like, Bro, if I can take out five guys in less than 30 minutes, imagine what I can do to a female. No offense, there are really strong ass bitches out there. But for me, I know that at least 99% of the time, I'm probably gonna win because of my strength, because my natural build and my strength. Like I feel dense. I feel very, very strong. Like I come across women all day, every day and I love women. Obviously I was created by one. Exactly. Uh, there's women in my life that are inspired by me that they do more in their life because I've done so much in my life. Like I inspire women to be better women, which is a fucking huge compliment. So for me, um, I took that into to a consideration. I was like, man, I'm never ever going to compete against a female. Yeah. Maybe grappling for fun, for training, maybe light sparring, but to actually go in there and yeah. be mad in a yeah, I know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't, because at the end of the day, I, I applaud class, and commend you. I when applaud you, when you. you are, when we're in class, we do cross train with males and females, and yeah. the males use. The males usually help the females because it makes them think that they're just going to get stronger 
as they go. So I've trained with females. I've been punched by girls, but for me to actually compete in a, a real octagon or arena or cage and yeah, hurt be going, okay, yeah, man, it's I different. Don't see it. I just like I've always it's not in it. you. I got, got you. It's not in me. It's not in me at all. And that's and, good. And that's good. I give women all the credit. Like I said, my mom was a badass bitch all my life. I've one time I saw her beat the clothes off of someone, and I don't even know how that happened. Like she's strong as hell. So regardless of how strong women can be in this world and how men how because there's a lot of women out there that always want to try and one up men and i see it all the time <laughs> but i still give them the love and the respect and the care oh absolutely that they have because they are naturally born females so I, and for me i am not a pussy i would much rather go up against a motherfucker that's five and oh five knockouts and meet him in the middle and duke it out like badass motherfuckers in front of everyone before I ever lay a finger on a female. Wow. This is, this is, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's commendable, but that's, that's who you are. That's who you are. And, uh, that's who I'm always gonna be. Yeah. And, and you're so, your candor, your honesty, um, just it comes through and, uh, it's, it's so appreciated because, you know, it makes you a person who is likable, approachable. You are not come with the bullshit. Nobody. Not a lot of. I'm from New York. You're from Boston. A lot of people don't uh, like. I'd rather you be straight up with me than don't don't try to bullshit me with some other shit. Cause I'm like, oh, really? Like, you know where I'm from? Like, you really gonna? Is this what we're doing today? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, oh wow, okay. So, you know. We're built on respect. The fact, man, uh, look, my message to the competitors, you know, you want to put your money where your mouth is. And mm -hmm. to the promoters, put your money where your mouth is. Uh, Just Marie, meet me in the middle. This is, I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. For anyone that gets this, like, I'm thinking, like, what managers and coaches are doing in the next couple of months. Yeah. Like, hey, so this Gita bitch. <laughs> You think you uh, want to fight her? And yeah. for me, my message to them is meet me in the middle, sign the contract, be a part of history, win, lose, or draw. Let's have fun, enjoy ourselves. Like, that's really it. Just see me like another competitor. At the end of the day, that's all I am. Don't be afraid to lose to me. You should be afraid to lose to anyone. Like, it's, it is what it is. I just... And here, I'm going to look straight into the camera. I want an honest and fair chance to compete, period. Fuck, a, fuck the part that I'm trans. Forget that. Exactly. Wash that out of your head. Mm -hmm. I am an athlete. I'm a fighter. And I want to compete. So give me that honest and fair chance to compete. That's all it is. I don't care to be famous. I don't care to be rich. At 33 years old, I'm tired of waiting and I don't want to wait any longer for me to do something I've loved and had a passion for almost my entire life. Like, I shouldn't have to say I couldn't do this at 60 years old just because I chose to be trans. And that's my lifestyle. I'm still an, an athlete at heart. I'm great at tennis. I'm a great dancer. I'm, a, I'm great at football. I can do literally everything. But for me to go down in my life and be like, oh, yeah. I could have done it, but I didn't. Like, fuck that. That's bullshit. Like, find me yeah. a fight. Find that's me it. someone that's willing willing to toe the line, like you guys say at BKFC. That's someone it. that's going to meet me in the middle and fight me, period. If they want to make good money, if they want to be exposed and have people know about them, well, then fucking fight Jita. Because she's ready to punch you right in your mouth. Dang. Not in a bad way. But I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm to the point where I'm just like, you just want to get it. You just want to get it going. You just want to do it. That's I it. Told, I told my management yesterday, That's I'm it. like, if they don't give me a contract, I'm hmm. just going to go to the bar and find random guy to fight. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be guys showing up to their houses yeah. beat up. But I don't yeah. want to do that. I don't want to yeah. fight in the streets. I want to do it the good and right and awesome 
yeah. more commendable and honorable way. Like, that's really, it. I'm tired of not being able to do something because I'm, I choose to, I chose to be trans. That's really it. Yeah. And, and, and if people are, let me tell you, I don't have to subscribe to a point of view to understand, but to respect, but also understand that rights, people have rights and there's certain laws that certain. You can't have, okay, yes, you, but no, you. That's dangerous thinking. That's how a lot of that other foul stuff years ago, you know, racism and all that other stuff, and, and things against women, things against a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just from different cultures, not necessarily, you know, but just all over the world, even in, in other countries, even in European countries, where really, some places place they have war and they go against each other. And it's just the mindset, the thinking. Why is it that what applies to you doesn't apply to this? If, 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 and again, you know, if it's a matter of principle, then it should apply to all. Because if it's not a matter of principle, then what is it a matter of? Yeah. Or when, when it's favorable to me, but not favorable to, to you? Yeah. Um, it's, 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 I, I would say Dave Feldman, BKFC, I'm sure they're going to do something. And I hope it's soon because... First of all, everything you put out there, yeah, you want to be known, you want to, but you, you, you both want to shine uh, brighter than the lights, make the lights explode. Get up in there, and remember. I, mean, I, 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 I'm gonna make this as a promise right now. I don't care who it is, but that shit is gonna be lit. Cause I'm not going in there to, to. It's not gonna be. We're not doing the cha cha. I'm gonna exactly. swing your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. I'm gonna no make doubt. Sure, listen, I honestly feel like. I, I was destined for something and every, all the arrows always pointed to mixed martial arts. And you know what I think is so funny is that I never got to compete in boxing because of those issues. I never got to continue wrestling into college because I felt like no one really paid attention to me and my family. I, I, I even stopped dancing a long time ago and I did it for 11 years. Because I was just like, no one really cares. No, one but I'm such a talented person that I feel like I have what it takes to to be great. And you know, earlier before we started recording, you mentioned American Idol, and I. It's funny because the way I explain it to my friends and family now is that I was like, BKFC is like the American Idol of fighting because exactly. they're not waiting for someone to have a record to 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 grab them. They're they're, they're literally scouting people. They're literally holding auditions and tryouts to see if there's like a diamond in the rough, if yeah. there's a, another star that they can mold and, and do something great with. So exactly. giving me the opportunity to go over there was amazing. And I thought like, what's even cooler about the story is that I completed the tryouts. I was there for the four hours. Um, I drove eight hours there and back. But for me, it was just like the, they're giving people a chance to tell their story and be able to do something good with themselves and maybe for others um, along the way. But the fact that I didn't make the tryouts, but through word of mouth and, and Instagram and Facebook, my story got to very important people in, in high places. And, and that's why we're here now because I didn't make the cut. They didn't ask me for a, 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 an extra interview. They didn't give me a contract, but I thought that it was cool that I was able to make my story known to the point that they started hitting me up like it was almost like a wait what did we miss exactly. while she was here like yeah. what point like what, who was in charge that didn't or here take a look at this and say you know da, like, like shoe in yeah. like yeah like because not because just it 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 reads of triumph coming from this and this and this it was some people look as obstacles sometimes be opportunities and openings it's like in a fight yeah they coming at me with this is it is it an obstacle no if i'm thinking okay opportunity you miss my turn now you know what i mean or or i'm gonna do this it's the same thing so you are one of the most courageous people in the world that takes because i'm telling you I'm no nah, man. I always, I, always lose my dream. I, I believe anything, anything, anything you tell me, I believe it. 
<laughs> I you swear to God, been- and I'm not trying to be a comedian, but I'll be like, yeah, I believe you. Like some other I, people, I don't know, but the fact that I, you, I, I believe you. So slowly but surely, so I was trying, well, I was trying to explain myself, but I always lose my train of thought when I'm trying to explain it because my mind is all over the place. Um, That's that caffeine. I think it's pretty cool and funny that I'm, I'm, I'm jumping everything in the middle to go bare knuckle. Oh, like, yeah. It's one of the most dangerous combat sports yeah. known to men to date. Yeah. And well, at least to a lot of people. Actually, I, I heard it's a lot safer because in boxing, you can get punched 300 times versus in bare knuckle, it's not going to last that long before someone actually quits or, yeah. or gets knocked and out. The, and the rounds um, are shorter. Yeah. But what better way to prove my point and my story than to do bare knuckle? <laughs> like, and then in the gender that I was born in, like, all I see when I sleep and when I daydream, like I'm like cutting chicken at work, and I all I, I all I think about is like the the millions of people that I'm gonna make happy and inspire and and help with my story and and, and the way I'm doing everything. And this is not for publicity. I'm not trying to be the first person. I just am. It's not my main goal to. I I swear on everything I love. I'm a really really humble person, Robert. I swear on everything. I believe I live, you. I believe you. I live within my means. I I, I take care of myself. I I like to look rich on a budget. Like I don't care about fame. I don't care about money. But if I can live a life, the next 10, 15 years where my main focus is doing something that I love while also helping people and changing lives and changing minds, then I want to do it. If that's what exactly. the best, if, if BKFC and MMA is my gateway to everything I've ever wanted to in life, and that's what I said earlier, like all the arrows point to mixed martial arts and combat sports. I don't know why, but you know, like deep down in your core, Robert, you have something that like, you probably talk to your wife like, ma, this is something I know for a fact is meant for me. I was meant to be a reporter. I was meant to to interview people and, and share their story. And this is my passion. I love it. It, it drives me. It fuels me. For me, it's like something, it gives me goosebumps just talking about it. I know that at the top right here is mixed martial arts. And it's going to web out into everything I ever wanted to do. Feeding people, fashion, traveling the world, opening my business donating money to charity helping people in need fighting hunger all that cool stuff that other people do i'm gonna do it from fighting and competing i just need to get over this hurdle Mm -hmm. i just need one person to say yes and the rest is fucking history i'm gonna be in the history books forever and don't get me wrong there are times where i'm just like man should i just live under the radar and fuck it like go to training and enter some um bjj competitions and call it a day but then i'll have like these daydreams and these night dreams and i'm like no i see it all the time on tv youtube instagram facebook the news people are out there being stars and and, and amazing advocates and amazing humanitarians why not me a little bitch that came from lawrence massachusetts Why not me? Why can't I do it? I have everything it takes. I have the humility. I have the look. I have the passion. I have the skill. I have the, like, I have everything it takes, especially the foundation. My family is a fucking army. My friends are an army. I have so many people that support me and have been on this journey with me since the beginning. And all I've ever said is I just need someone to crack the door so I can kick the rest in. (laughs) <laughs> yeah um wow this is this is wow. amazing better than i even than i even uh thought because just all of the information coming all of uh i told the, you all you gotta do is ask me one question and i won't shut the hell up yeah no but you debunk so many myths because that's 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 one of my 
uh, things that I, I, I deal with sometimes I ask people, you know, what, what, what myth would you like to debunk at this, at this time? Because then someone says something about weight cuts and other things. Uh, but I usually, I do these questions off the top of my head, you know, when you, yeah. just, you know, uh, but you've answered that and then some, and I couldn't think of a reason not to give you the opportunity if I was in in their shoes. I am. Um, I mean, I've been approached with several uh, by several uh, companies and, and management and stuff, and but I'm 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 very, you know, I'm focused on because because once I because I, I work I I do, do stuff and I'm also oh, what's my. I was going to say my uh, my plaques and stuff, but um, just uh, one of the things that I know is 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 just that to that follow your you know your passion and live your dream and don't let anyone take that away from you because it's your life. It's not it's not my life. It's been ten years that I've been doing it. Yes, that's just crazy. That's a long I, time. I always I always tell people ten years of also doing my own look doing my own videos, my own photo shoots, editing my own stuff, adding music to it, promoting myself on Facebook and Instagram, just hoping and waiting and trying, like putting that shit out there. If you were to talk to my friends and family, like how how long do you know that Gita has been trying to do this? They're like, wow. Forever, forever. If you look, I, I know I have a lot of posts on my Instagram and stuff, but if someone ever took the chance to like look through, I'm, Every other month, I'm like shooting for it. I've signed up for, at this point in my life, I could have already fought five times, but two were out of, canceled out of personal, horrible issues that I was going through. Uh, another two were canceled because of COVID. And then another one I signed up for recently. And apparently the Florida um, state, athletic commission right thought that i wanted to fight females and they were like we're not allowing that i'm like you fucking that's not what it is like and I, yeah. I i was talking to the promoter hoping that he would explain the story for me better but he didn't want to get into it and i didn't want to force anyone to do shit so i just let it go but i could have already had five fights under my belt well their loss was BKFC and they, you know, and and the world's gained. Everyone who wants combat sports because everyone's different. You can't automatically assume everyone is the same. Oh, you want to fight with? No, you want to fight in the men's division. Now, mm -hmm. what? They don't want to fight because now it's like, oh, am I gonna fight? No. Look, you want to fight? You're an athlete, right? This isn't, yeah. this isn't, I'm, I have, I'm going to go scrutinize and say, because if this person has this point of view or lives their life this way, nah, I want the victories. I'm yeah, moving my know, way that that's it. I'm not going through all, all that other stuff. That's their thing. My I, thing is to win W. I that's know it. it's out there. I know it's out there and I know it's possible because I mm -hmm. went into a competition uh, about a year and a half ago in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, in Tampa. And it was the first time I ever entered a competition as trans. And because I wanted to like get the jitters out of my body. I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm going to go. I know it's like 99.9% .9 it's going to be all guys. So I signed up for the men's division. And they were like, what? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah. And I was like, I'm trans. And they're like, oh, okay. And like they were like, okay, so that's your name. I'm like, yeah, I can show you my license. It's, it's a legal name. And they're like, okay, okay, cool. So when they call me up, I'm across the mat and the guy walks up and he's like, uh, no coach. And he was like, no, no, it's okay. It's, it's, that's a, a guy, that's a dude. And he was like, oh, okay. So the two matches that I had, the guys tried to like rip me apart, but I loved it. Like I, I enjoyed that there was these guys, they didn't seem nervous. You can tell that they don't want to lose to me, but at the same time, I enjoyed being able to grapple and, and have the respect because once they beat me, I got up, gave them a, a handshake and a yeah. hug. I said, great job. 
Like he, um, it was yeah. a great experience. But I was I was able to even conquer that and be around so many other athletes and be like, damn, I can do this. It was like one of my first tests as a as a trans person competing in anything combat, and right. I thought it was cool, but I know it's out there. Right. When I'm not, I'm not saying if because I don't think they would they would show an interest and in, in it'd be a when. I mean, it'd be an if. But when you fight, what division? And, okay, so uh, any specific name? Well, answer that first. I I walk at 160. Um, in the morning, I'm like 157. I don't. And this. I've never agreed with the whole weight cutting thing. I feel like, why do you want to like go down 30 pounds to fight smaller people? I think no offense to anyone. Yeah. If you take offense, whatever, but if you got to drop 30 pounds to fight small people, you're a pussy that let me just put that out there. So I like to, I want to be natural and I want to be healthy. I don't want to lose a bunch of pounds. So I feel like for me, 145, 155, 160 in that range. Uh, if uh, big guys are coming down, to fight me, whatever. I don't care. I'm not afraid of it. But I want to stay in my own weight bracket, my own height bracket. Um, I want it to be at at least fair for both of us. Um, but yeah, 145, I can do. I'm willing to do 155, 160. I want to stay in a healthy range. I don't want to kill myself leading up to the fight yeah. and take a risk not feeling good. Because honestly... I'm a crabby ass motherfucker. I, I don't think keeping food away from me is going to make me a better fighter or a better person on that week. Like, I don't want to do that to myself. Yeah. You know? I, I, like, I don't know what's the point of losing so much weight just to fight people? I think it's stupid. So, hmm. my natural weight is 160, but I'm willing to do anything around it. Yeah. Well, I think that's also commendable because I think a lot of weight cut issues with some people is just. That's the first fight to cut so much weight. Yeah, and that's it saps you. I don't every, even know where to work cut for. from. I'm all muscle and bone. Yeah. I, I yeah. don't even know. I'm gonna have to take out a rib or something. Like I don't understand where I'm supposed to <laughs> cut this. Yeah, stay healthy. I don't know why I'm so cut, supposed yeah. to cut this. <laughs> stay healthy. Stay healthy. That's that's the key. And and like a lot of commissions and other people they say uh you know fighter safety well you know some people i mean why the fuck would you let them fight to begin with if you're worried about fighter safety with some people yeah, like, <laughs> yeah like it's like really that's like and let me tell you first of all uh i want to commend vitor belfort for his victory yesterday um because yes that was not the uh, vander holy field that i remember he was yeah. falling, throwing punches. But the fact that he was going to fight De La Hoya prior to, and then in such a short time, he went from fighting a guy who's, you know, who's a smaller guy to going to heavyweight. It's one thing. But it's like a modern day gladiator shit. They're it's, just throwing it's just, it's people just, against each yeah. other. I just, I just thought that Ivan the Holyfield looks so bad. But when I saw him hitting the, the when I saw him hitting the, the when he, when I saw him hitting the, 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 the focus mitts, the focus pads the other day. I'm looking at a sequence because there's a dance. I'm looking at the sequence and I'm like, he's missing this. He, he, he didn't throw it. He's supposed to. In my head, I'm looking, you know, I'm like looking at it and I'm like, what the fuck? And then it looked like he was going to, I was like, oh my God. Who's yeah, gonna... did, you, did you see how like Tito Ortiz was one of the most dangerous men yeah. in his era? And did you see how slow he was? Slow. He kept, That's he kept pouring, it. throwing the same punch over and That's you see he's out and over. And I'm like, oh no. I saw it coming. I said, oh, no, you're going to sleep. Like, it, you know, life, sleep. life is scary. Like, people like that remind you that at some point we get fucking old. And it's scary. Yeah, exactly. And But there got to come a time that people, sometimes we, can't, sometimes we can't say it to ourselves. Let yeah, somebody I, tell you, please tell them, stop. Yeah. It takes nothing it's, away from your, your thing, but come on. Man, when you get yeah. knocked out like you that, know, you, okay. you said you're 50, right? You remember the MTV 52. celebrity death match? Okay, 50, 52. 52. Yeah, 
Yeah. Remember the old show with the Clay MTV celebrity death match? Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like that's what it is. They're just picking celebrities from yeah. everywhere just yeah. to beat each other up for millions of dollars. It's crazy. I mean, if I were, and let me tell you something. In good conscience, uh, an official with Athletics State Commission, I would not approve of that fight. A guy who's falling, throwing, bro, you fell through the ropes throwing a punch. Come on. Really? Bad. Like, really? Like, because because I would probably look at the ref and be like, check him out, make sure he's okay. Yeah. Because, because, because no, once you get some of these, I feel God. like no disrespect. Like, all four of those men have beautiful, awesome careers. There, there was no need for any of them to be yeah. in a ring. They go be a, a, a husband and a grandfather and vacation. Enjoy and, your life oh, with your kids where you still have this life. going on and you your family. Back in the ring is just so irresponsible. But I, I, I love Anderson Silver. Let me tell you something. That's that, a badass. Let me tell you something. If anybody, in, and, he, and he's in his 40s now, if anybody, was going to transition over to boxing and be successful. I wouldn't be surprised that it was him because of his fighting style, the way he moved, the way he yeah, made guys like, miss and did all that shit and caught people, bang, going backwards. I'm like, he's that guy. Yeah. That. And I and I like Tito Ortiz, but did I think he was going to win? I thought Anderson Silva was going to make him look really bad. And I expressed I that. And the people who see this, they, and I, who I spoke to, they know. And prior to the, I did an interview also uh, yesterday, which I finally loaded uh, with, and I'll be I'll be posting both today. I just have to take care of a few a few things. At you know Puerto Rico and in New York, go over here, go over there. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I, I called it right before, and I said, "What what's going to happen?" I says, and I said, "This was several minutes because then we ended the interview, and then." Then the fight started, and I, exactly what I thought, and I was like, "Cayendo says solo, falling by himself, and then the punches and not his his legs, not giving like you know it's, it wasn't even if you're getting hit and stuff like that, which of course you are, but please keep him out of the ring, man. Please keep that yeah. man out. Please keep him out. Whoever you are, he's a living legend, man, and his kids and family and his daughters and whatever." They don't want to see dad get hit like that, man. Come on, man. He, you, you paid your dues. You paid your dues. I don't even know why his family would even let it happen. Yeah, they, they were concerned because, well, you know, he was, he's, he's grown. He's pops. He said, I'm going to do what I do. Then he, they were like asking him, your, your kids, your daughters, you know, are you, are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. You know, because, you know, they're going to be like that. Ba 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 ba. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, you was back then. But right now. You know, you're in your 50s. I'm in my 50s now, and I'm nowhere near as fast. I think it's 58. 58. Mira, ya, 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 para 60. Ya, two more would have been 60. And, and I take nothing away from Vitor Belfort. Badass, phenom. And he will, he, he catches you, right? You, he's going to put, he's going to put the beats on you. He's mm -hmm. the dude, the dude is wicked. He's, he, he looks great. Really good. There, he looks great. Yeah, but, but Vitor Belfort, he's 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 one of the those people who I don't know. He just keeps going, and uh, I love the guy too. He's, he's great. I'm over here by Long Island, uh, because but I'm in, in Queens. But let me tell you, I'm gonna have some interviews going to some of these spots soon, and I gotta start training, do some shit too. But um, I think that the level, the the playing field. And that they have in BKFC, and the fact that it, it is like American Idol is like, show us what you got. Mm -hmm. And that's where you find out. I think you're gonna do, I think you've already done. They're not gonna contact you. I'm telling you, they know special. They're like, who, who the fuck was there that didn't see this? Like, what are you, stupid? Or do I have to ask? Because if I gotta ask you if you're stupid, maybe. Uh, you I, know. Think, I think honestly, Robert, I feel like you have the most intense footage of me really talking about this stuff. So once you post it and start sending it to the people that really need to see it, you really have everything that I have on my YouTube right now is very, it's, it's passionate, but this is really, really serious. Like we're, we're sending out a message and a statement. We're, 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 we're 
I'm starting to get a little louder in the room. Like I'm starting to lose my patience. I'm about to start breaking shit. Yeah, you're like, tired. People need to know. Yeah, because I'm... you're tired. I'll put it more. Let me tell you something. <laughs> okay, you can talk, but after a while, yo, I'm tired of talking about it, man. What's up? What's like, what, you gonna do it or not? Because if not, you know, but I, I'm, I'm gonna go elsewhere, and it's gonna happen. You know, it either happens, with, but you're passionate, you're intelligent. The fact that I, I think that your your brain, your mind, is probably the strongest thing and asset that you have, and you're courageous. And you, you, you're another one as a BMF. The fact that a lot of people take pokes and say, well, automatically, so, oh, oh, yeah, you want to fight women. and do No, you want to fight men. They, you don't give a fuck who it is. Mm-hmm. But be in there with them. That is a, a testament like, like saying, yo, everyone is different. Here is a person who is putting it all on the line. The message that is being put out there. And, le- and let's, let's understand one thing. Person, you want to be treated right? You got to treat other people right. Don't complain when something happens. You know what I mean? And then you, 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 you're over here BSing somebody else because that's not good. You mm-hmm. know, and we all have a right to feel a certain way. I would never tell somebody not to be upset and not to feel upset. I don't have the right to do that. Yeah. I don't have the right to do that because I because don't come to me and tell me no shit like that. But I'm very open. I don't like for me, it's not that I don't care, but I respect everyone's opinion, whether it's good or bad or what I don't like. It's fine. You know what? I'm even to the point where if you want to consider me and call me a dude, then fine. Whatever makes your brain tick and whatever makes you feel like this is how I want to uh, approach and, and talk to this. That's fine. It's not going to change how my family, my friends feel. About and I know a lot of you out there thinking that. So when you hear <laughs> it, see, I, see, 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 we're going to talk about shit that 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 that. Shit that that people are thinking, people are saying, yeah, yeah if they want to call you a dude and makes you makes you makes them feel better and they be able to drink their coffee easier or this or their donuts, whatever, then they, so care. be it. You you worried and your family knows you and you know you. That's what's up. Damn. Exactly, and, and and the people that are 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 going to know me and going to follow me follow my journey. Everyone's gonna get a chance to think and and do whatever you want. I don't care. Here's my biggest thing. Just res- respect each other. That's it. Even if you don't agree with me, be okay. civil with me. It's it's cool. I I, I am a very open minded, loving, caring, humble person. Mm-hmm. If I know how I was born, I seen the birth certificate. I have the pictures to prove it. Y'all don't have to fucking tell me how I was born. I know, but mm-hmm. this is a lifestyle that I chose, so I want respect for it. When it comes to mixed martial arts, though. I'm gonna do it the right way in the way I feel because I'm not doing this for for to make everyone else happy. This is just who I am and how I've been for a long time. It just so happens to be the right way. Wow. So <laughs> my biggest thing is respect. Wow, Call me whatever the fuck exactly. you Exactly. You know, somebody respect. always tells me that about me too, that I'm always big on the respect thing. Call respect is number you one. Want. Call me yeah, whatever but... you want. Respect me like Gita Marie. That's exactly. All I that's what's up. And where can our viewers find you online? Okay, so I do all of my stuff on Instagram. So my tag is Gita Marie 719. That's G-I-T-A-M-A-R-I-E 719. Um, everything else uh, is linked to my Facebook, which I keep it personal more so for my family and my friends. But the best way okay, to connect cool. is Instagram. Um, Instagram is really the only thing I have. I don't do Twitter because that shit is drama. I think it's ridiculous. It's, oh, yeah. It's, I, I honestly don't. I, if I can do everything I want on Instagram, why do I need 17 other things okay. to really do anything? Like, so okay. my, my best way of contact is my Instagram. It's my album. You can see it's pretty much my resume, mm-hmm. an album of my life. I'm really, really raw and real. So what you see is really what I go through with, with my adventures when I'm um, I'm out on my kayak, when I'm at the beach, when I'm working, when I'm with my dog, when I'm with my family. Literally, if you really want to get the real raw side of me, just follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow the journey. I don't care whether you're with it or not or on the fence. 
at the end of the day, I live a good life. I'm a very happy person. Yeah, yeah. And if you, you can't pay you... attention to any of the interviews that I've had, you'll know for a fact that I'm very passionate about what I say and what I do. So that's really it. Great, great, great pleasure. Great, great story. This is wonderful. I'm gonna say if this is probably the best interview. Hey! Be because it's so, especially what's going on now and you social media, this, because people are for people are against people, but a lot of people don't have enough information. And yeah. some people don't like certain things. It's like, if I don't owe you an explanation, I'm not going to give one to you. So mm -hmm. you could wait for a long time, you know what I mean? <laughs> long I time they probably inscribe it on your thing he was waiting for an explanation or they were waiting for him but it's not happening but some things you do and some and the story and it means so much to you and it means a lot not only to people in your position yeah not only but the fact that you stand up and fight for something that you believe can help people all over the world in different uh, positions in life who are some struggling or some see something as this is such an obstacle or this is I can't do. it's an opportunity get your ass up and go in there and whoop that ass yeah or otherwise they're gonna whoop yours <laughs> so and that's just the way I put it. you gotta do what you gotta do and you're you're from over there uh, I'm from over and you got family over here too uh speaking with the uh, timer yesterday and just um, speaking about sometimes like if not driving or in a vehicle or something which I'm so used to doing when I have to take public transportation is I work in the city and a lot of the things you see on the news I haven't seen it because I'm a person that I, I get uh, I would get involved with certain, like you know I would try to stop something you know what I mean mm -hmm. and some people they say oh man I hope you know and I'm like not because you know it's just to try to stop was I'm not a cop, nothing like that, but some of the things that I've seen are really fucked up, man. And it's like, it sickens me. But, you know, there are good people too, you know, and there's a lot of good people. I would say there's more good people here than, and you may have a few that's, you know, and then some people have, they fucked up in the head, they got mental health issues. Obviously, if you go on a, uh, do a search like that, you know, and I'm not promoting violence, I'm not saying anything, but a friend of mine uh, who's a fighter, uh, the UFC train we not too far from here. I'll be doing a video thing, but with him at over there, uh, one on one. I'm gonna tell you, like I told someone else, I says, How come you don't see these people going to boxing gyms, MMA uh, <laughs> academies, and going? And I'm not saying that it's the right thing to do, or just happen to f find someone coming out of there. Oh, let me see if I can get uh, do something to them. I guarantee it's going to be different. But some people know, some people, and some people don't know. I'm going to give you a brief, a brief thing. It's, it's a person, a uh, transient person, a woman, was nervous. I know our conversation. And I know she felt nervous. This guy's throwing bottles, acting crazy over there. So normally I don't really say, but I had to like make it known to him, like, you know, go take a walk. Because you next day she feels nervous and scared. You know what I mean? She's a woman. Yeah, he left. He looked at him. And he didn't. And I, I felt bad about having to do that. Yeah. But I would have felt worse had I not done that and something happened to her. You know what I mean? So, yeah. mm, mm, so the same respect is there. You are valiant. Your family should be proud of you. Hell yeah. The women in your family they must be like wow because would, you're courageous so, yeah. man you're courageous you're an example and you wouldn't put your hands on any like on any level like that that's not something you want to do so mm -hmm. people who think that automatically oh i don't want to sanction fight because it's no nah, man listen to the story let them finish the sentence when they finish speaking, then you make your decision. Now, if the athlete on the other side, you dudes, either you want it, you want that smoke, you don't. Or like a, a, there's a line in a movie, you want to be famous, 
better go fight G to me. You really be famous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go, go, go do your thing. Right? Yeah. It's like one thing, man. It's like, it's, it, it, look, man, it's like an empanada. It's one cheese, one beef. Oh, patelillo. We call the Puerto Rican patelillo. We call it patelillo. Look, man, you like what you like. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's food. You know, you want to eat. You want to do what you got to do. You go in there and, and you put your, your best foot forward. You you are this is the this yeah you are this is this is this went better than I expected and I expected it to go really good. Thank you so much. Peter You're Marie. welcome. I look forward to talking to you when it actually happens after my it, fight. It, it, it it's gonna happen, and I'm gonna go on the record and say some people I'm gonna be pushing for it. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be letting them. Hey, why not? Come on, let's do it. And then awesome. I think BKFC, they're doing a lot of different things where you have the, the people with the, with, the, with the huge followings and whatnot and whatever's going on. And let's make no mistake, controversy sells. That's, that's, a, that's a rule. There's no, no BS about it. Madonna and other people have done things. Controversy always keeps people saying. But the fact that you are highly skilled, the fact that you are passionate, you're not a person just off the street saying, okay, I want to do this but I have no skill level. I have no this and that. Nah, you can, you can scrap. You, you, you can get it on. Um, I appreciate you so much. Gita Marie Figueroa, thank yeah. you so much. You're Boricua, welcome. Boricua, mi gente, thank you. Un placer, amor. Uh, likewise, likewise. We, we love you out here in uh, New York City, and we look oh, forward yeah, to seeing you. Oh, yeah, you know what else, too? Just, I mean, I don't mean to cut you nah, off. Keep, keep talking. But, so I, I keep forgetting to tell people this. I'm very fluent in Spanish, so I can be international, baby. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> you speak Spanish, too. You have español. Latina, hello. Hello, we, we, exactly. We are what fire is. We are, we, we are passion, so. Yeah. yeah. Jump on the train or get left behind, baby. That's right, yeah, yeah. If you, if, if you miss the train... You know, this, 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 not, this is one of those those things where the the train left and uh, that's it, you missed it. But um, yeah, igualmente yo hablo español. Y eso es, es una cosa que siempre te va a ayudar también. It's something that, because, you know, para, para, nuestro, para los ojos que están viendo esto, uh, aquí. It's been a dream to be right. on Unity Young. Yeah, maybe nah, can, you're gonna be on maybe, it. Maybe I can make it on Don Francisco before he retires. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, yeah, right. And yeah, that'll be cool. I think I think you're gonna make it on uh several shows. I think that uh I'm predicting that that you you're gonna go above and beyond that. I'm predicting that. So awesome. No, no, you're good. You're good. Trust me, you're good. Uh, uh and I ain't gonna I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be bullshit you about no, no, I'm gonna tell you some bullshit. But I think I think you're good. You know what I'm saying? I think you're gonna do just better than fine. And I think that it would be like a no-brainer. Like, why wouldn't they want to man? You want to be out there? This is this is it. This is the opportunity. And mm -hmm. the re the reason they contacted you back is because they see it. Somebody sees it. if somebody didn't see it, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Exactly. You know, like what's, what's the purpose of a conversation? Like if a person like is like, okay, when it when if it's nothing, if it if it was not, it is something. And I they they have people there that there's that have visions. I would have jumped on it. What? I really let's go. Uh, I'm very, very honored by that and grateful. And I what my biggest thing is honesty, respect, and appreciation and always being humble. So it's it's gonna be great because this is the beginning and I'm, this is only my fourth interview and every time oh. i finish this i feel so 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 happy and proud that it's, yeah. it's you're you're a part of the beginning 10 five, 10 years from now we're gonna look back on this and remember our first yeah. interview yeah we are when you it's see me when you great. see me dancing salsa ding, ding, ding. Hey. <laughs> so there yeah, we'll be we'll be in there like this ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We'd Madison Square with the Garden. Shit. Madison Square Garden. Barclays. You see what this is. I have a bunch of New York stars. Sometimes I don't win because, you know, but but I'm looking forward so much to having it, you know, this open over here. 
to have in, 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 in Madison Square Garden, in Barclays, or even in Long Island as well. Uh, they, they do have a, a, a BKFC fight later on this year. In New York? In New York. I don't know if it's in New York City, though. I haven't really asked too much because I wish I'm doing 50 million things in one day and I got 24 hours. So I'm like, because I work in New York City. You know, besides, you know, I work in there and I work up here también. And I just, you know, it's not there. No, no, I'm doing support. The bottom line is just that I know that I can get to there. I can drive up there, whatever. Uh, but I look forward to that and look forward to seeing you do your thing and live your dream and open, not only open so many doors, open so many minds yeah so people are definitely. blind and don't know what the fuck is going on and just want to talk before they before oh uh, yeah for everybody else who's beefing oh they just want to find women no want to fight you too <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't want to find one no wants to fight you dude how about that <laughs> not a woman wants to fight you That's so fair. if you feel and if you're one of those people not saying that you are Oh, you got something against, okay, fine. Put your money where your mouth is. If you're just smart and you're an athlete, because I know several fighters there and they're just smart, down to earth, cool motherfuckers, man. Cool. Business savvy too. Great opportunity. And what a better thing to do than give also each other the opportunity while living your dream to shine. Because wherever you go, you're going to shine. You're shining mm -hmm. right now. You're shining then. They knew, and they know now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many good things besides the eyes and the followers and the people. It, 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 it's a no-brainer, you know? Yeah. Que Dios le bendiga. Take care. You too. Boricua, take care. And thank you so oh, yeah. much. Thank you so much. It yeah. is an honor and a pleasure Gita Marie Figueroa. Thank we're gonna, you, we're gonna see you fighting a BKFC real soon. Kick some fucking ass. Thank you. thank you so much for this interview. I yeah. Am so great. Of course. Stay up. New York City. Hey. Boston. Yeah. Boston. Let's do it. That's what's up. Puerto Rico. Stand Puerto up. Rico. Stand up. Of, <laughs> of course. Y todo Latino and all the athletes and anyone with a dream and don't deny yourself with that dream and living it. And Gita Marie Figueroa is living proof of that. Don't stop you. The only one that can stop you is you. Yeah. You know, thank you.